We are learning new details tonight about the death of entrepreneur Tony Shea. We do have new information surrounding the house fire in Connecticut that led to his death as everyone continues to mourn here in Las Vegas. 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough joins us live outside of Zappos with the very latest on this. Madison. Yeah, Sasha, this is what we know so far. This all happened in the very early morning of November 18th. The new London firefighters tweeted out that at 1.48 a.m., they responded to a working house fire where people were trapped and one person was rescued and taken to the hospital. According to the real estate site Redfin, this is the oceanfront home where the incident occurred. And government records show it's owned by one of Shea's former co workers at Zappos, Rachel Brown. Now, while we don't know if Brown was in the home at the the time, it has been reported that Shea was with his brother at the time of the fire. According to the Hartford Current, a local newspaper from the New London area, one person was removed from the waterfront home with possible burns and smoke inhalation. They also mentioned that the person was rushed to Bridgeport Hospital, which has a burn center. So currently, that is all we know. It's some information, not a lot as of now, but of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the week with the very latest. Reporting live from Zappos, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.